And Imperial Chronicle is literally the news. This is actually really good to read because it actually gives you like some hints on things that come up in the future. And I actually do need to actually read some of these because you can, well one it tells you like there is a bit of a um, fight of sorts going on between the upper class, the nobles, and the pe the commoner class kind of things because the representatives and peers are kind of at odds. The peers are the nobles, the representatives are the commoners. So there's a lot going on. And there's the Imperial Transportation Act. This comes up later. And they don't say much. But uh, there we go. Giving the cars of commoners regards, regards equal to that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Some of our that giving the cars of commoners e regard equal to that of the nobility makes a little sense. There we go. So just get reading this stuff. It does, like, it really does build the world up. Like, you go over the, the Keldegram market. And it does kind of help you out in the future. And there's also a spotlight on the Reinford group. And other you get like the Imperial Railroads. If you read it, it actually gets put in here. And we haven't even got the last tab yet. It's kind of amusing. Right, with that in mind, we're going to go to uh, probably the Weapon Store now. Because considering these are all bonding points, there's no need for me to reset anymore. So I believe. Jump Store, is it? I think it's this one that's selling. I can't remember where this. No, they don't, they don't sell weapons. I think they sell on school. Yeah, on school grounds. Yeah, first house. Yeah, it's, it's, God damn it. Yeah, yeah, that's how much. Oh, sorry, this was. Soviet area poison is actually going to be blocked. Your grand seal is good against, for your mages. Mute is good for your mages. No, wait, seal is not that bad. Mute is definitely good against your against mages. Blind is good against your physical attackers. And KO is KO. Mind you, actually, can I actually? I wonder. Can they give us? Right. Okay, my mistake. Um, I thought they gave us casual clothes, but no, casuals are a new game plus thing. Yes, they give you casual clothes for new game plus. It's actually kind of insane. So it's the say the Sarge, I must be in. the boutique, with the gay. I didn't. Mean... Did I see you in the art class? Hey, can you do me a favour? Me? Well, then I hope sure. Might be some underwear trouble. Could you compare these to the pair I'm wearing? I want to know which one's a cure. Uh, I... You... What? <laughs> Take it easy, I'm just joking around. What's with this girl? You you, uh, you can get pan you shall split down. So what do you have? Welcome to Trista Brands of Lesage. Our store features an assortment of fashions you find in our main branch in Heimdall, as well as goods for students. If you feel like your wardrobe needs a little refreshing, stop by and we'll find something just for you! Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. But this actually has more accessories, well, some accessories, and along with actual gear. We don't buy it all, but you can tell it's actually better than the stuff we've already got. So, it's also gender specific. It's okay, so don't buy more than one piece of equipment at a time, because you can't equip more than one piece of equipment at a time. It's stupid. But it's how the game's done it. So if I buy three sunny sandals, it's gonna just get, let me equip one and have two in my inventory. Always sell your old stuff, you don't need it. There's not gonna be anything like the um, the castle in Final Fantasy IX, where like everything's upside down and that good is bad, attack up is attack down, that kind of thing. So there's no reason to have like top class gear, uh, sorry, lower class gear hanging around your uh, inventory. Oh, mind you, actually. Oh, no, I saw that earlier. I saw that out of I think. Oh, we're talking about Sarah. Just the other day, Sarah got drunk, so I complained to me about all sorts of different things. I just how she can't handle the vice principal and how she's voiced she'll never find the right man for herself. Even listening to her tied me up. That guy is sad. I feel sorry for Sarah, really. And you look like someone else. How do you fancy hot nice meal? Stuff all the way we have that. Free table, go ahead and use the study. So you can rest, but you, you just sells food. Food is more efficient and at times cheaper than getting tier bombs. So if you can, get food, get making that where you can. There's a way you'll be able to make your own food later on. We haven't got access to it just yet. Uh, but it's coming, and I've got a thing from you. I think I've got a, yeah, I've got a thing from there, I've got stuff from there, general stuff from here. 
Uh, can't do anything pawn shop. Or can we? I wouldn't. Because I think the pawn shop actually has some good stuff. It's just... Can we do anything with it? Well, whatever. I ask if you want something. Pawn shop people are supposed to be friendly. So, what Mitch will let you do is trade up gears. So, he basically sets a rate. And if you fit that in, you can actually get some really good stuff. For instance, if you want ground bait, you need five un unknown materials. If you want the Zeron Pal, you need a Mishi Plush. If you want the Celestial Balm, you need Reviving Balm. And some of that. But it kind of is straight upgrades. Like, Tier Balm is 1,000 health, this is 2,500. You get lots of like, trading upwards. Equipment is mostly, um, literally just more accessories. This actually is a bonus on top of your silver earring. This is a bonus on top of your coral ring. This is a bonus on top of your marble ring. That kind of thing. That is actually probably the most useful here. Then you get the Ride Along Bear, the Ride Along Bunny, and Kitty is. So, yeah. Quartz one is literally just extra quartz you can trade in. So, if you want to attack, you can trade in Firebolt, if you want to Shield, you can trade in Aqua Bleed. It's a good way of getting some better quartz. You'll be able to get these later on anyway. And quartz two are unique quartz that he'll have. These are upgrades. So, if you get two Needle Shoots, you can get a rare Needle Shoot that gives you defense and strength. If you want a rare Crest, which is Earth Protection, you need a you need two uh, normal crests. This one gives you defense and HP. These are all straight up upgrades, so if you can get a chance of getting a rare quartz, get it. It actually really does help. I do want Analyze. Analyze is probably one of my favorite quartz arts in the game. I'll show you why later. To keep Mitch in mind, he is actually probably one of the most useful character uh, shops in the game. Scarily. <laughs> I'll admit that much, but <laughs> it's actually kind of neat. That is actually everything I wanted to show in Trista. Uh, general stuff sells food stuff, which we don't need right now, but in particular. So, we'll move on to the engineering building. Let's get this one out of the way. Because it's actually one of the more useful side quests you can get done. Hello. You seem familiar. Hey there, good to see you. Oh, you're the person who was with President Toa when I first arrived at the Academy. <laughs> You've got good memory. George Gnome. I'm George Gnome, second year, class 3. I'm also head of the engineering club. You're Irene Swarza on class 7, that right? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Toa told me they were helping out the student council. You've probably got a lot to learn about the academy since you've just enrolled, but good luck with everything. Thank you very much. But well, I am curious. This is the engineering building, isn't it? With all the machines and equipment around here, it certainly fits the bill. Yep, you can basically think of this as the Academy's very own Auburn factory. The engineering club's been in charge of, ma of maintaining Auburn's here for a long time now. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I assume you prepared all the stuff you wanted me to deliver as with this quest too. That's right, I handle all that stuff here at the engineering club too. I usually deliver on myself, but I'm a little too busy this month. Can I ask you to do it for me? Of course. So what do you need to know? Awesome. Okay, here's the rundown. As you know, I need to deliver three Orbal products for me. First up is this Orbal scale, which I need to deliver to the cooking club. The club meets in the home economics room, on the second floor of the main building. Give it to the head of the club, Nicholas. Nicholas from the Cooking Club, home economics room. Okay, got it. Next two are both in town. Now, if you take requests from people who are outside the academy, too. Yeah, there was so much talk about the club that I started getting requests from people in Trista, too. There's no reason for me to refuse them, so I do as much as I can to help them out. That certainly explains how you end up so busy. <laughs> sure does. Second delivery I need to make is this antique orbal lamp. This one's going to Mitch at the pawn shop. You'll find it in the southeast part of the central shopping district. It's kind of out of the way, so keep an eye out. Antique orbal lamp for the pawn shop. Understood. Last but not least, the final item I need to deliver is this orbal wrist wristwatch. This is going out to Michael over Radio Trista. Radio Trista is in the southwest of the central shopping district. So let the receptionist know why you're there, and she'll call Michael out for you. An orbal wristwatch from Michael from Radio Trista. Ask the receptionist. Right, I can do that. And that's everything. Let me give you the items themselves. Orbal scale, anti global lamp, orbal wristwatch. Now be sure to be careful. It's not going to be easy carrying all of those around, but I'm sure you'll manage. Just be sure to report back to me when you're done. Of course, I'll get started right away. This is actually another very easy quest to do. In fact, even easier than the, th the first one. These are all key items, so there we go, event items, I think. There they are. The orbal scale, which is. Does this say the way they need to go? So if you forget. I don't know why you can apparently... Oh, it's, you can't toss them, I get it. Um, oh, use it, oh yeah. Okay, so, I'm going to sort this out now. We've got relaxation for music, Legrand paint, guidebook, and touching paintings. 
These are actually ways you can bond with classmates, and in the case of relaxation through music, it covers a wide variety, a variety of different musical styles. I just chat with Elliot about some of these. You increase your bond with them. It's not a lot, it's by 50, but that is another way you can bond with your classmates. You can only use them once, and then you have to get a new one, so you can sell them after you've done the first time. This book has a lot of information on the ground. You should give me something to talk to Laura about. And last but not least, Machias, who is the... No, sorry, there. Gaius, touching paintings. Wow, there are a ton of nice paintings in here. I should tell Gaius about this sometime. There we go. So, with that in mind, let's move on to our next feature of the day. You know, every time I go down somewhere, I try to load something. Right, so the first place we want to go is the Home Economics Building, which I believe was the first floor? No, it's not first floor, it's going to be second floor. Yeah, second floor, what am I doing? I'm a pillock! Uh, yeah, you're in this corner. Ah! Uh, oh god. Hey there, you wouldn't happen to be you wouldn't happen to be here to join the cooking club, would you? Not exactly. The engineering club asked me to deliver something for them. Is this what you've been waiting on? Orbo scale. Yep, that's the orbo scale, that's George to fix alright. Don't know how he works so fast, I'd be really lost with, I'd really be lost without him. George's many talents aside, I don't didn't even know tools like this existed. Pretty impressive, isn't it? These can provide even more accurate minuscule measures than any analog scale. If you put a container full of ingredients on there, they'll even subtract the container's weight for you. It's handy. And then leave it. Hmm. You don't have an interest in cooking by any chance, do you? I haven't given it much thought, to be honest. But I am kind of curious. I'll be cooking for myself from now on anyway, alright? You'd be surprised how many students here can't. Here's the thing, the cafeteria might be cheap, but it still costs more mirror than making it yourself would. Have you tried to cook anything yet? Not yet, I don't even know where to start. This means you're as virgin as my olive oil. If you want to start cooking, I'd recommend you I'd recommend you start cooking. Just make something, doesn't matter what. Tell you what, I'll even give you this to get you started. A recipe book. And so off, here's a really easy recipe to get started on. It's so easy, I've got all the ingredients you need right here. Help yourself. Simple omelette. Fresh eggs. Of course, rock salt. Thank you very much. This recipe book seems like it'll be a helpful companion, but... Are you sure I can have it? <laughs> sure, we've got tons of them. If it's back to five cooking in your heart, it'll all be worth it. Got it. I'll be sure to get some use out of it then. Well, thanks again for bringing me my orbital scale. Pass my thanks on to George for fixing it too. Will do. Give you recipes! You can make cooking, you can do things with food and... I'll explain this myself. So, cooking is very, very simple. Recipe. First off, go to the recipe, you find the ingredient you want. He'll actually give you like a list of things. We have one of 20 recipes. You can see all the times you cook. You can cook with yourself and get just the thing you're apparently, like, neutral on. Like, we'll make a simple omelette from this. But if you get someone who's got a different um, face, like if we cooked with fee, we'd get the, the third item down, which is like a, a mystery, a peculiar dish, as it were. A lot of times they're either really they're either unique or they are attack items. That shows you how bad their cooking is. If you go for the golden one, which is the bottom one, it's actually a unique one only one person in your party most of the time can make. These are really, really good and really hard to get. The shiny one, the top one, is kind of a better quality dish that you'll get from more than one person. And you can tell this from the faces. So, in this case, V will more than likely give you the what? Give you the what? The um, the food with like question mark exclamation mark. You'll probably get a simple omelet from Reen, Laura, Juices, and Machias. You'll probably get the better quality from Gaius and Elisa. You'll definitely get the better quality from Elliot and Emma, but there's a good chance that one of the two will give you the best quality. You have to have done it at least once with them in order to get the best quality stuff. There is actually a side quest right near the end of the game relating to getting all 20 good, uh, best quality dishes and all 20 lowest quality dishes. There's a side quest for each of them, which is kind of weird if you think about it. Hey, I want to cook you really bad stuff. Uh, I'll give you a reward for it. 
Meanwhile, with Mitch, we give him the, the Orbal's lamp. Hmm? You've got business here, kid? Or are you just window shopping? I, I do, actually. I'm here to give you something from the engineering club. Oh, George fixed that thing already? Well, hand it over already, will ya? Right. Well, that. Hmm. <laughs> kid does good work. I swear, why does being a pawnbroker have to be such a pain in the ass sometimes? Who would have thought I had to break right after I paid for it? <laughs> That's a pretty nasty surprise. Do you get a lot of students in here out of sheer curiosity? Fair few, sure. Why are you looking for some money? None of the money's kids. The kids can think of this place as an exchange shop. So, like, items for items? Oh yeah, I think I got something in a while back that a kid like you like. It's yours. It's a way of saying thanks for delivery. Blade deck. Blade. Is this a card game or something? Seems that way. Some good for nothing second year brought it in. Can't say I've ever bothered to play. You can give it a try. Or don't. Or burn it. For all I care. I didn't pay for it. Uh, thanks. That's really nice of you. I have a strange feeling that he ju didn't just. They, he just gave me this because he didn't have anywhere to put it. Oh well. Oh yeah, another thing. My shop's got the finest selection of curios in all of Trista. If you don't see anything you like, come back later. I change up the goods sometimes. When? I feel like it. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for delivery and enjoy the playing cards or whatever. Yeah, any time. We can now purchase curios. At this shop you can ever explain this. You can exchange items for rare and high quality ones. And you can see items you've missed. Yeah, we have to play plays later. And he's basically explaining, hey, you can buy... It's mostly food? Which is kind of amusing. Hang on, I'll show this. He's selling three pieces of food. Clear gelatin, globby fat, and red beast flesh. These are items that you can use for food, the ingredients. So, come here at time to time, it'll have everything you can't get in Tristan. But you have to have gone to the area first, so you'll see that really stack up later. Next up we have Radio Trista, which you can't fast travel to, but it's in this corner. Right down here. This is this place. Radio Trista or Radio Station? It's actually kind of a nice place. So, receptionist. Welcome to Radio Trista. How can I help you today? Is there someone named Michael here? I've got delivery from the engineering club and ideally I'd like to take it to him directly. It's a matter of do have Michael here. Let me call in for you. You can wait on the sofa over there if you like. So let's keep you waiting. You said you got a delivery from the engineering club for me. I do indeed. Here it is. Oh, what is one? Wow, it really did fix it up. This is some pro level work. We're starting up a new show tonight, so I was feeling all nervous without a quick way to check the time. Things will be just fine now, though. I can imagine that'd be pretty intense. Well, you know, it starts in 9 tonight, and if things work out, Radio Trista is guaranteed to see a pretty big increase in popularity. Which will mean I'll be one step closer to achieving my dream of. Oops, sorry about that. I shouldn't be getting all excited by that and boring you with my life story. Not at all. I'm of the opinion that being passionate about what you do is a good thing. <laughs> it's just pretty much my entire life at this point, really. If you really want, if you want to make me feel more alive, tune to the show tonight. <laughs> you bet. Oh, I worried about having normal radio. Well, I gotta head back. Our sound producer's in there waiting for me. Normally I treat you to some tea or something, but today's a really busy day. Tell George thanks for fixing my watch when you get back. Of course. Good luck with tonight's show. All right, that's the last time delivered. I should go tell George. So just straight back to the engineering club, and after this, we actually get the Orbal Factory unlocked. Hello. Oh hey, seems like you're done with those deliveries. All three of them. Nice work. So now that you've finished delivering those, what do you think of the place you delivered to? Hmm. Well, they're certainly all unique. I don't know the place I'd normally go either. I might have wandered into home economics built room eventually. Not the pawn shop at the radio station. Yeah, I don't think most students would. The pawn shop in particular is kind of hard to find, too. <laughs> That's true. But now I feel as though I have a general idea where most of the place, main places in Trista are thanks to this. It almost feels like this request benefited me more than it did you. Well, that's nice to hear. You spoke to Michael while you were at Radio Trista too, didn't you? Did he, did he tell you anything about the new show that's starting up? He did. It starts at 9pm tonight, doesn't it? <laughs> I figured he mentioned that. He's thrilled about the show, and that enthusiasm is infectious. How about you? You plan on tuning in? I'd love to, but... 
Oh, don't have Noble Radio? In that case, yeah, it's all yours. Noble Radio. Wait, really? It's the latest model too, same one I've got. You helped me out big time today, so it only seems right that I'll to pay you back. Are you sure? Of course, I bought it for research purposes, but I never really found the chance to make any use of it. It'd be a waste just leave it here collecting dust, so I'd be thrilled if you actually got some use out of it. Well, that's the case, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, there's something I'd like you to tell the rest of Class 7 for me. Oh? Instructor Sarah came to me with a request the other day. Long story short, she left me in charge of doing maintenance on all of your Arcus units. No kidding. Like I said, the engineering club's basically Thor's Oval Factory, so yeah. Of course, I'm pretty interested in your Arcus units myself. So if you need help with anything Arcus related, just come visit me here and I'll sort it out. Good to know. Part of me feels bad adding to your workload, but it's a relief to hear that you'll be the one in charge of this stuff. <laughs> That's quite the compliment. Alright, I also meant to ask, you know about Sephiroth masses, right? You mean that stuff that monsters sometimes drop with regular Sephiroth? Exactly. True, they don't need to tell you how handy regular Sephiroth can be. But Sephiroth masses have a ton of some impurities, so they've never received much attention. But recently, someone discovered a way to efficiently extract Sephiroth from them. Is that so? Oh, it's so. Thanks to that, most shops are willing to take them off your hands at a decent price nowadays. There's no point in holding on to them, so go ahead and sell them if you find any. A little mo extra money never hurt anyone, especially a force. Sounds like a good idea to me. Will do. I think I'm just about talked out for the day. <laughs> I think I am as well. Thanks again for all your help. Here's hoping we can help each keep each exchange favors. Did though. We'll be counting on you. All well, deliveries. He ain't kidding. This is the Academy's Orbital Factory. He actually really helps you get your slots up. And I can probably explain you this by showing more than it telling. Can I get to it, please? Right. So, first things first. Modify Exchange. He can modify your Sephiroth into Quartz for you. Now, yeah, you all know what Quartz are at this point. We'll analyze them, you don't. These are all very useful things to get. Secondly, slot. You can open new slots in your Arcus units. Now, in something like this, actually, it's kind of useful to pay attention to how it goes. For something like this, where you got like two lines, it's actually kind of cheaper to unlock this one rather than this one, because that's 17, that's 40. And further down the chain, it gets more expensive again. So if you look at uh, Elliot's, look at this 40, 70, 200 for that one, 150, 400, 250, 600. If it's got a, a um, unique you know, you can only have one thing there. It will cost you a lot. So this is third, which is 200. This is third, which is 200. This is third, which is 100. It's like double the cost of one second. So, you know, it can be fair. But the more slots you unlock, the more EP you have to spend. So it's worth unlocking slots on your casters, definitely. It's also worth unlocking slots on people who are going to be your support casters. So getting this for Reen wouldn't hurt. Cover is literally you can buy new covers for your... Uh, augments, the augments, Arcus units, which we got these two, we also got unique ones, I'll show you in a bit. Actually, can I? I can put it on now, sweet. So we can put on the unique faceplates. And these are just DLC based. It's kind of annoying they actually give you them all now, because it's actually telling you who else actually joins the party later on. Which is why I'm not going to show you further down below, guys. <laughs> which is a shame, really. These actually have some really neat designs. It shows they've actually put some four into them. But, they're not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something like really well developed and well done, as opposed to just, hey, here's a picture of Reen, who's just looking nice and swell. And it's kind of a shame, because I was I was loving the idea of what they were going to do with it, and then they just kind of don't. Uh, that's one. Uh, let's give you Analyze, and let's give you... Actually, I'm not you. Do I have any Quartz Spare? Let's actually get some things. Actually, let's, let's unlock Gaius' second, uh, second block Gaius. Let's get this one. And this, we can't afford him. Okay. So, I wouldn't mind getting something like a Forte. Oh, five bow raised attack. Okay. Crest is. What? Raised defense. That wouldn't go better. I'm going to miss. Shield is art defense. Hmm. I could get a rare needle shield, but I got one of these. But I don't really want to go for the rares right now. Let's get airstrike. Let's get a forte. Let's get a tier. We actually have a ton of water, water stuff, so I wouldn't mind actually spending more on that. Let's get crest. 
And I think I'm going to get... We'll leave it at that. These aren't all going to fit in, that's the thing. It's really like we haven't got enough slots for them, but I'll give you... You might do best with Crest for now. Should be a sportcaster. As for the rest of the Marvel Exchange, there's just all of that's it. In... God damn it. In customized weapon, you can customize your weapons. It's literally just an upgrade. Now, you have to have the base weapon in the first place. Doesn't matter if it's equipped or not. You have to have it. But these all have their own little bonuses. So I'd honestly consider what they are and then go for it. They're actually really cheap right now. It uses up unknown material. Or you material, rather. So be careful. And pick wisely, because once you use up you material, you can't get it back until you find it in the field. I don't mind getting a Kaza... Kasagiri? Yeah, let's get a Kasagiri. They will automatically equip, that's the good news. You can also you know, keep it changing. There's also a shop here where you can buy things like EP Charge and Master Quartz. The Scepter's... What's that? Master Quartz is here. Scepter's about getting more Sephith, so... Actually really useful. I think I might try and get it. Let's see what I can burn. Well, I need, what? 800? 730. Let's bring you down to about 50. Like, I'm not going to force it. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But I'm going to damn well try. Yeah, it's not going to happen now. Alright, we're done here. We'll come back to that later. But Scepter is really good if you want to just get a good uh, amount of Sephith. So, you know, if you're grinding for money or something like that. 